Hey guys, Booligan here with Booligan Airsoft and Shooting Sports, taking a look at a couple of very cool accessories for your 12 gauge shotgun. Specifically, I'm going to be looking at things for my uh, backpack folding Hatfield 12 gauge shotgun. You guys have seen several videos on that, so I don't really need to go over that too much. But what we're going to be looking at are these short lane adapters from gunadapters.com. One of the cool parts about 12 gauge firearms is that you can fire a pretty wide array of things out of them. Um, they don't have rifle barrels for the most part, at least you know, th this one doesn't. Um, and because of that, it leaves it a little more open to what you can put in them. What these do, we'll take a look at just one of these right now. This little drop-in adapter allows you to shoot 22 long rifle rounds out of your 12 gauge shotgun. Why would you want to do that? If you have a shotgun, why do you need a 22? Well, it can be very really helpful in a survival type situation or to have something like this in a bug out bag where you can have one weapon system, in this case a break action 12 gauge shotgun, able to shoot a wide variety of ammunition. So let's say you're in a survival situation and you need to hunt and you see a rabbit or something like that. You're going to want to hit that thing with some 12 gauge buckshot? No, there's not going to be much left to salvage. But something like this will allow you to make a semi-accurate shot and have something that you can actually uh, use at the end of the day. The adapters that we're going to be taking a look at. First one, this is the Zombie Rifled 12, or excuse me, 22 adapter. So this is rifled, so you should get some degree of accuracy out of it. The Bug Out, which is the longer 22 caliber rifled insert. So this is about like five inches long, so it should get a little bit more accuracy and velocity. And then this guy. This one is one of the ones that interests me the most. I'm kind of pull it out carefully here, because it's kind of tricky. So what this does, this is unrifled, so there's this is just a smooth bore, and it's actually three different adapters in one. First adapter lets you use 20 gauge shotgun shells in your 12 gauge. You can then drop this adapter in, which lets you use 410 or 45 long Colt. Again, not threaded. And lastly, the last adapter that slides in there is an unrifled 22 caliber adapter, like this. So now you have all of these things you can stack it in and you can shoot 22, take an adapter out, you can shoot 410, you can shoot 45 long Colt, and you can shoot 20 gauge all out of one weapon system. Now given that this one is not rifled, uh, the 22 caliber portion is not rifled, neither is 410 for that matter, um, I don't know what the performance is going to be like in this. But we're going to head on over to TNT Gun Range. We're going to shoot, uh, mainly we're going to be testing the 22 caliber projectiles out of the uh, backpacker shotgun. Um, we're going to test both the rifled and the unrifled versions just to see how they perform and uh, report back on whether these could be a good option for you. Now the biggest reason why I got these things is because you may recall when I built this, I drilled the butt pad and put a uh, little rubber stopper there and you can actually fit two of these adapters, two of the short adapters stack on top of each other in the butt of this gun. So in one very compact folding package, you could have a firearm as well as the uh, option to shoot 410, to shoot 20 gauge, and to shoot 22 long rifle, all stored in one platform, which makes this an excellent bug out option. So let's go hit the range, let's see how this shoots. Adapters inserted in here. You just take it, and the thing slides in. Shotgun shell. You want to make sure you're oriented in the same direction because you can see it's slightly offset. To keep it easy, I'm going to set it at six o'clock, just like that. We're going to set a target at ten yards, and we're going to see how it does. Shot, 
setup. So you take one round. Okay, so just offhand shooting with exactly precision iron sights at yards. That's not terrible. If you're out hunting, you can shoot a squirrel or something like that, you would probably be able to get that done pretty well. So that's what the fire is. Let's see how it does. Okay, so I inserted this the adapter, the little three inch guy. Let's see how it does at the same distance. We're going to be shooting for headshot. The obvious way of taking out zombies, got to go for the head. This one barks a little louder. Has less of a barrel, so I guess that makes sense. No appreciable recoil at all, considering you've got a 5 pound gun shooting a 22. Two more quick shots. This now does a 5 shot. be the problem. So this guy doesn't actually have that thumb group that these ones, that the other adapters have. So you actually have to take it
It's kind of shooting 22 out of a Rifle the the rifle that that hell of a lot more than the non-rifle adapter. something that you're going to be hitting the range recreationally with, with the non-rifled adapters. Let's go back, let's talk more a little bit about these costs and if they might be the right things for you. The coolest thing about this, how I would like to run this setup, let's skip the 45 and the 20 gauge, and let's go rifle 20 and then close that. I now have a action survival shotgun, 12 gauge, 20 gauge, and accurately shoot 22. That's an awesome setup. We'll talk more about these. So as you can see in the video, um, all of the short lane adapters actually worked really, really well. The rifled ones grouped pretty nicely out of this, uh, you know, out of my backpack shotgun. Um, they worked really well at ranges uh, for 10 to 25 yards is where I could test it. At 25 yards, I was able to get them all, you know, around a six inch circle. Um, and that's again, shooting like unsupported, just kind of shooting on a, on a bench um, with really not precision sights with some pretty big fiber optic sights on that shotgun. Um, so realistically, I was pretty impressed at how well they worked. The thing that impressed me the most was the non-rifled adapter, the kind of Russian nesting doll adapter set up here. The one that runs 20 gauge, 410, 45 long cold, and 22. Um, I was expecting that to just, you know, not even be on the paper at all at even 10 yards. And it was shooting true to point of aim. The thing it wasn't doing wasn't stabilizing the round too well. And those were not clean punch throughs on paper. They were kind of keyholing out a little bit. Um, so I'm a little hesitant about using those using that 22 caliber one, um, you know, in a survival situation. Obviously, I'm not going to be in a survival situation anytime soon, but hey, it's good to be prepared. Um, but I think my perfect setup is really going to be the Zombie Series, which is the uh, three inch guy coupled with the 20 gauge adapter. I'd run the 20 and the 410, but the 410, you can see here a little bit, sticks out a little further and keeps me from inserting that. Uh, that butt cap. So I may, I may put a slip on, um, a slip on recoil pad that gives me a little bit more room um, to tuck a different adapter in there. We'll mess around with that a little bit. But I think running the 20 gauge and then the uh, zombie series just kind of set up like that inside the stock is an awesome setup for your bug out Hatfield shotgun. Uh, many thanks to Shortlane for sending these over for letting us test out. You're going to be seeing more testing on these at even longer ranges. Um, going forward, but for now, in the ranges I was able to test them with today, I'm very, very impressed. Price on these guys depends on which one you get. Um, I believe the Zombie Series is around 45 bucks. The longer version, that's about five inches long, is like 65 bucks. And the Stack and Pack, I believe, is around 50 or $60 as well. So they're all in the $50, $60 range, which I mean, you buy two of these adapters and it costs as much as the gun. Uh, but realistically, it gives you the ability to fire several different rounds out of it as well. So kind of up in the air um, as far as, you know, the, the value ratio. But I think the ability to have a drop-in adapter to treat your shotgun as a totally different firearm 
with totally different capabilities is well worth you know 45 bucks for this adapter in my opinion so again many thanks to them for sending it over for us to check it out and stay tuned for more videos on these uh, adapters in the future thanks for watching